Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to repair the Fritzbox von VLAN. And this applies, this advice applies to all Fritzboxes from the recent time. As you can see here, this is a very simple Fritzbox. And this Fritzbox is a very popular DSL router, especially in Germany. And you have four screws you need to pull off and then you can deattach the latch. The top cover is latched here. At this place you just pull some uh, screwdriver between the top lid and the bottom lid and then you can take the top lid off. As you can see here, we put this aside and then we have direct access to the PCB inside. So what the matter is with those fridge boxes? Uh, the company uses very cheap SMD capacitors. So here this bottom cover. And the type of the fridge box is exactly 7360 EVE edition. But that doesn't matter at all. Here we have the inner workings of the Fritz box. Here are the antennas. They are partially made from wire, special prepared wire for the frequency the Fritz box is working on. And we have lots of components which consist the functionality of the Fritz box. Now I will show you where the arrow is on this fridge box. I have here at the side a lab supply which I connected such way it gives me 12 volts. The fridge box is working on 12 volts and I can draw 2 amps by connecting those both in parallel. And now I will connect the fridge box and please observe what happens to the current. So the voltage drops down to 2 volts and the current both sides of the power supply gets in a red overload. This means the fridge box it has, has a short somewhere on the PCB. So our next step will be to locate the short. We go back to the PCB apply the pub, we, we can turn the PCB at the other side. So, then we apply the power again. Of course, we again have the short. And now we just gently search a place on the PCB which has a much higher temperature than the surroundings. So the defective capacitor on the PCB can lie everywhere. But in this case, I burn my finger when I touch this one here. So that means, oh, it's damned hot. It must be one of these two capacitors here. Here's the whole place gets warmer and warmer because the capacitor is radiating heat. But it should be one of those both. I now apply some cold spray. You can see it's immediately evaporating. And this will be the spot which spreads the heat, this capacitor here. Of course, I don't have any semantic. of the box, so I don't know exactly what uh, value the capacitor has, but I will first remove it and I will hope that this is just a uh, filtering capacitor for the power. So removing this and applying again power to the freeze box should remove the failure. So my 
soldering irons need to heat up. In the meantime, I can check this one with the continuity tester in this multimeter. So this measurement you are taking offline, you don't need any power applied to the fritz box. Okay, here was the short. And this is probably the part which is damped. When you measure a capacitor with its hanging in the air, you should don't hear any short like this one. The one exception will be if there is very low resistance between the parts without the capacitor, but this here is not the case. I need to replace one iron, which is not heating up as it should. Because to replace, to remove the capacitor, I will need two ions. I hope. This won't take very long to heat up. So we do it like this. We go from both sides with two ions, heat the connections here up, and then it should automatically remove the cap from the PCB. I'm going out of free space on this SD card in the camera so it may be that you don't see the freeze box working in this movie but this is the procedure you have to follow to repair a freeze box which has a failure like this this is most likely a shorted cap on the PCB. What you hear in clicking is the buttons on the opposite side of the PCB which I now pressing against the table. This is taking so long because the cap is soldered directly to the big ground plane. So the ground plane is spreading heat all around and I can get the temperature on the solder joints I will to remove. I will have removed. So that's why it's taking so long. And I don't want to damage the cap or the PCB underneath. So we need time to heat everything up.